Thank you for sharing, uh, sparing your time for this webinar. Uh, so today we are discussing uh, maturity of analytics used in organizations. Uh, yeah. Is everybody able to hear here? Uh, please respond uh, in the chat or question window if you are able to hear. Uh, some people are saying they are not able to. Please try logging off uh, and logging on again. Probably it's some technical issue uh, on the web front side. Here we are getting all right signals. So let's start. Uh, if somebody is not able to do that, uh, not able to hear my voice, uh, please log back uh, in after logging out. That's the best solution. Uh, we tried doing it at Ulya and have succeeded. So let's start. So I'm Vishal Singhal from Cellstrat, uh, co-founder and AI evangelist. Uh, a bit about uh, Cellstrat, we are uh, India's leading AI startup specializing in AI research and development, uh, as well as we have a lot of e-learning companies as our clients. Uh, we are working with world-class world machine learning innovations, developing some POCs as well as uh, e-learning content. Uh, our research and content in AI ML is unmatched in Indian uh, context. Uh, we are thought leaders uh, in AI communities and do a lot of uh, workshops, seminars, and webinars as we are attending today. Uh, we have focus on AI solutions. We are completely AI and ML focused. We don't do any other solutioning. Uh, we are focused towards uh, areas like e-publishing, marketing automation, text recognition, computer vision. Uh, we have even got queries from uh, international uh, arenas where uh, sports analytics was required on AI ML. Uh, we help in deep learning algorithm and uh, designs of various uh, types. Uh, solution development we do in Google, TensorFlow, Python or Amazon AI or Alexa skillsets as is desired by the client. Uh, AI content, we have a research blog here. Uh, you can go through it uh, as and when you like, or you can subscribe to our newsletter to get regular updates. Uh, we do a lot of community events, as I said, uh, where we do seminars, webinars, workshops, and online uh, learning, as well as uh, these uh, District 4.2 talk series as uh, these webinars that you are attending. So. Let's come to what is, uh, let's come to the topic of today. So analytics uh, has gone through various uh, evolution uh, eras. So first came in BI when data used to be uh, low in size. And uh, so BI tools were used. A lot of Excel is still being used by a lot of small and medium enterprises. So that was analytics uh, era 1.0, uh, I can say. Uh, next came big data when large data sets came into play and Excel and uh, smaller tools were not sufficient in uh, providing the analytics. Uh, but now even big data is being disrupted uh, where big data is feeding into uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning where uh, almost real time, uh, almost real time uh, analysis is required and uh, uh, machine learning algorithms uh, and AI concepts and uh, uh, technologies are playing a huge role there. So let's see how, uh, what is AI and how can one be part of it or where, where the current state of uh, affairs is. So what is AI? AI is intelligence exhibited by machines. Uh, true AI is not yet received, uh, not yet achieved, sorry, uh, but uh, will be, all word is going towards it. Uh, we are already seeing examples like uh, autonomous cars, auto tagging of images on Facebook when we upload our pictures and videos, uh, understanding of human speech, uh, NLP uh, chatbots, uh, uh, high definition cameras with analytics and things like that. So next is, but uh, in India uh, specifically only, there was a survey recently where it says only 12% of companies 
uh, are actually ready for automation shift question is why what is uh, what uh, what is lagging in india whereas uh, some stats also show or say that uh, after us uh, india has the largest uh, talent manpower uh, pool in ai ml space why only 12% of companies in india are ready for automation shift so let's look at some factors as well as uh, kind of analytics maturity we have in organizations today and uh, let's see what factors are uh, playing there in in their uh, status of analytics as of today so first is uh, uh, factors are people process and technology uh, and first we are talking about analytics laggards as in whoever is not adopting ai fastest or uh, ai or ml or analytics fastest and reasons as we see here uh, people are making gut based decisions we have been doing that since we started a uh, long time back in business uh, gut based decision uh, making was the norm of the day uh, when technology and analytics tools were not deployed uh, so much in uh, so much in the organizations so and people is also one of the biggest factors as in we don't have the right talent in the company or is not easily available in the market uh, process when uh, gut based decisions are happening uh, there is no process to it people uh, think of something right and they apply it only to come to know later on whether it was right or wrong then also technology uh, when technology is not there obviously um, nobody can do anything about it but also technology will be dependent on uh, data how good a data that you are providing so if you are having bad data or unstructured data or unsupervised uh, data then obviously uh, quality of decisioning will be bad next is uh, these kind of companies are called analytics laggards and you can say uh, most of the small companies with a very low number of stock keeping units or, or services or products will be in this category so uh, also uh, some companies have invested heavily in technology but they have not yet changed their organization structure understanding change management is not happening there so that's why uh, only technology deployment will not help right kind of talent and process both are required let's go to next uh, next is localized analytics we, if we see slightly larger companies uh, so analytics have started taking place there uh, people have started in uh, e-commerce or web domain if i say people have started doing uh, google analytics or uh, other kinds of web based analytics uh, for some time now but those are in isolation so only marketing department is using maybe seo scm uh, or social media uh, analytics uh, only functional or tactical analytics is happening uh each department is doing their own analytics so hr department will have their own analytics marketing and uh, sales department will have their own analytics financial will be having its own analytics so it is not a centralized uh, data lake that we are having there uh since localized analytics is happening so there is narrow focus on data to decision decisions so how uh, marketing or sales uh, revenue uh, generation will help the company as well as will help in talent uh, requirement or generation uh, are two different factors hr is separate and marketing is separate so process is uh, not data driven uh, there very fragmented data management as i just said so there is no centralized server where all data is uh, stored so uh, segmented data or unstructured data is lying all all across it difficult to aggregate it and uh, be able to use it next is uh, analytical amateurs uh, so this this is uh, there is limited interaction between there is limited interaction between departments so uh, some executive awareness is there on top level but it has not been uh, drilled down to bottom or even if it is at the bottom so very limited interaction developers or low level uh, employees don't want to interact with uh, with each other in terms of the kind of skill sets they are having or uh, they don't want to have coordinated analytical activities going there 
so although urgency of uh, incumbents is growing since leaders are staking out large advantages and uh, hesitation is increasing uh, the risk uh, of being disrupted but disruption is already happening it takes multiple forms uh, introducing new types of data like mobile data social data sms data false data uh, uh, sales data financial data all these are types of data uh, you can say which can confer a competitive advantage uh, but requires massive integration capability and can break or make uh, the, the organization through organization silos enabling new insights and models and now hyperscale digital platforms have come which can match buyers and sellers almost in real time uh, transforming markets as well as granular data can be used to personalize the uh messaging to customers almost in uh, near real time uh, as is, you see in uh, most e-commerce companies these days uh, so in technology perspective uh, bi capabilities there's a lot of statistics statistical tools are being used a lot of data based management uh, systems are being deployed and are being used so example of such companies would be small to mid size uh, e-com uh, companies or having uh fairly uh i would say small to medium size of databases so next is uh, analytical practitioner analytical practitioner i would say uh, these are uh these are large i would say mid to large uh, consulting companies as in it development companies like infosys uh, nit or accenture Excuses of the word, where analytical skills are also there in uh, plenty inside uh, the company. Executive support is there from top to bottom, and learning is happening across uh, across the domains. Uh, people are willing to learn. Companies are willing to train. Uh, integrated analytics have been deployed. Change management is being done, uh, where HR is talking to people and trying to train them on how to uh, change their. Uh, do their mind shift from uh, traditional bi to uh, analytics to ai or ml domains and how uh, will their life be changed or work be changed uh, with the deployment of such technologies high quality data systems are being deployed and uh, deployed in governance plans is being put in place so that uh, uh, a centralized data lake can be there which uh, helps in centralized uh, analytics and uh, businesses proliferate uh, completely on uh integrated analytics based insights instead of localized or uh, fragmented analytics now uh next or i would say last is analytical masters and analytical masters are uh, having institutional analytics as in they have multiple country presence multiple office presence uh, but there is continuous learning happening across the department across the uh, companies uh, across the continent uh lot of centralized analytics uh, processes have been deployed and uh, they are leveraging new data sources and emerging analytics across the world so uh, now new uh, tools like machine learning and deep learning capabilities uh, capable uh, tools are coming in or being deployed uh, where uh, system enabled by machine learning can provide customer service manage logistics and analyze medical records or even write new stories in almost in near real time so uh, these are giving productivity gains as well as improved quality of life uh, but only with a probably i would say one of the negatives is uh, job losses and dislocations so uh, companies who are for example companies like simmons or companies like uh, alibaba's of the world uh, they are deploying huge uh, robotic systems inside their companies which is displacing a lot of manpower so it is being uh, spoken against by people uh, quite a lot but uh, since companies have to show profits so they have to deploy such uh, capabilities now data science and ai are already taking up multiple industries and effects and that effect only will only come become more pronounced when it reaches a critical mass and as machines uh, gain unprecedented capabilities to solve problems understand languages uh, they will be uh, benefiting companies to a large extent uh, organizations that
can harness these capabilities uh, will effectively be able to create a significant value and differentiate themselves while others will then find themselves increasingly at a disadvantage so we have recently seen uh, one of the largest e-commerce companies in india uh, flipkart was taken over by walmart now, flipkart was having if uh, my data may be wrong but uh, they were having a dedicated team of two to three hundred uh, data scientists of the machine learning developers uh, completely working all the time on uh, real-time analytics as well as real-time insight generation on how to uh, serve a customer with the uh, best personalization uh, at the time of uh, customer being on the site or on their app now when it has been taken over by walmart so now walmart is a bigger uh mammoth giant and uh, they will be deploying all sorts of uh, robotics already uh walmarts and amazons of the world use a lot of robotics inside their warehouses so jobs has been displaced but again they are uh, some of the most profitable uh e-commerce or uh, on on uh, offline commerce companies in the world so this is because of they they have uh, reached analytical uh, maturity So I took up this topic because uh, sometimes people say that how should we know whether we are analytically mature or or not? And sometimes they say that sometimes people are not able to understand why are they being displaced or why uh, a business is not able to function well. And I, when I came across this survey of 12% uh, only Indian companies uh, ready for change in uh, uh, change in and uh, change towards analytics or AI or ML. That's when it uh, clicked that this topic would be relevant uh, to be taken up in webinar. So pretty small topic, but I'll, I would like to summarize it here as uh, one single diagram here. So here we see factors are people, process, and technology uh, with analytics regards coming first, localized analytics, analytical amateurs, analytical practitioner, and then analytical masters. So uh, as you see, maturity of analytics is growing from left to right. And uh, from left to right, it's also reactive tactical or strategic uh, uh, decisions that have gone into on these, uh, gone into development of analytics capabilities as well as uh, centralized this year making based on analytics uh, insights so this is mostly it uh, for the topic here uh, i'm willing to take any questions if you have any questions there I have finished it in probably about 18 minutes. So that's not too much. So if you have any questions or willing to uh, send me any later on, my details are there on, on the system. Uh, you can send me at that. We have a WhatsApp group as well where people from all across the world discuss and discuss or post their problems. Uh, we can also, uh, we also share a lot of content online and uh, on WhatsApp groups. So uh, you can be part of that. You can send me a message uh, uh, to this number that is given on, on, on the slide. Uh, it's saying that I attended this webinar and I uh, would like to join the Disrupt 4.0 group. Uh, please tell me your name, uh, your company or location, uh, company and location and designation that you are uh, on. That will help us in uh, understanding what kind of uh, audience we are having. Again, that's data for us. So we are talking about data, data all the time here. So we, we need to know that. So some questions here. Uh, how relevant is analytics for small companies? Sir, uh, small or big, analytics is the way to go. Now, in, uh, in some time, it is said that Companies will not remain companies. They will become maths, maths focused. 
uh, match focus data companies uh, every company in the world is being disrupted every area in this world being disrupted by ai and ml and you can't be saved in any domain you talk about music arts accounting finance every possible domain is being disrupted by ai or ml if you don't adopt ai now or if you don't adopt uh, analytics now to start with you will be not you'll be left redundant in some time when you you get automated when your competitor get automated and, and they overtake you in no time so definitely analysis is important for small or large companies together what is analytics for uh, industry 4.0 uh, near real time or i would say real time analysis of uh, business problems so if you talk about medical world uh, you can see lot of uh, disease prediction disease uh, detection is being done by uh, ai based uh, systems better than uh, doctors can do so doctors have been the at the forefront of uh, disease detection or uh, uh, a prediction but now ai has taken over and they are doing it it's already doing it better than doctors so even doctors are uh, fearing that their medical profession will be taken over if they don't uh, update themselves with the newer technologies that should i would say is analytics for industry 4.0 both analytical tools are available well not many are available but they are being uh, developed from scratch uh, for example we recently got a query uh, from uh, usa as well as india uh, almost in one month time gap where both the companies are asking about uh, inventory management with ai another query we got inventory management has been happening since long since uh, trading started in the world but now more and more uh, people want almost real time inventory management another company in gurgaon uh, which is probably making uh, some kind of ink is saying that we get lot of sales queries we get lot of uh, sales inquiries uh, we get we get uh, very positive sign that this deal will close so we uh, increase our inventory but that sales never up and that that is pretty, i would say medium size company with sap installed inside and everything like that but even they are not able to do uh, inventory management with traditional analytical tools now they are thinking of deploying ai ml based uh, inventory management you talk about automotive companies like maruti or suzuki and, and they are managing just half a day inventory to make all their cars so that's that's beautiful system that they have deployed inside uh, they are doing uh, almost quality checks at 99.6% accuracy they want to take it to 99.9% just because they want to have uh, least possible errors happening there so that's what is analytics tools for industry 4.0 and they are being uh, developed from scratch uh so we, we got another query from a sports company uh, i would say sports startup from somewhere in europe and they were saying they they want to do real time analytics on uh, soccer fields trying to analyze what kind of uh, which player will have the ball uh, has had the ball for how much time or which player uh, has played a lot played most of the games played most of the time played uh, most of the fouls and those kind of statistics so those things are applicable only by ai or ml not to traditional analytical tools but these have to be developed from scratch based on problem based on the data that you have uh, if you can provide a uh, supervised structured data it gives you good results but with unsupervised or unstructured data it will take longer to develop uh, may may take longer time but again it can be developed and uh it can give you wonderful results there no i won't say 
there are none but i will say uh, there are not many tools in the world uh, that are ai capable and ready to use data visualization is a result of analytics uh, data visualization is one of the use cases i would say uh, uh, of analytics so you generate analytics uh, you generate insights out of it and then you do data visualization to make the managers better understand of uh, where, where the company is going or where a process is going so that's what i would say about data visualization most welcome so we have a newsletter uh, you can sign up on selfstart.com you can visit selfstart.com there are a lot of previous webinars are listed as well as a uh, lot of blogs are listed uh, from there blogs and uh, ai bytes we we say to them uh, slide by slide slide size byte uh, i would say ai bytes we share and you can subscribe to our newsletter which we send out every uh, every week after our webinars uh, so probably next one will be coming out on monday or tuesday uh which will also be announcing um, the next week's webinars you can also attend uh, you can take a note of the next week's uh, webinar here this would be webinar on data preparation so this would be taken up by my colleague uh, vivek singhal who's uh, the chief ai data scientist uh, on our team and also my co-founder uh, so he will be talking about what all kinds of data can be there and what how it can be prepared Uh, not much can be uh, shared in one hour but uh, we try to maximize the uh, uh, capability and maximize the uh, as much knowledge as we can provide in one hour any other questions okay so i'm not getting any questions here uh, another two minutes i'll be here if you would like to ask any question this uh, webinar is being recorded and will be posted on our youtube channel uh, of telstrat uh, will also be posted to all uh, through a newsletter uh, that will be going out on monday or tuesday uh, and uh, you can go through all those youtube uh, based uh, webinars there or uh, keep attending in real time uh, in live so that uh, you can ask questions and get them answered i'm not seeing any questions here so i'll close it for now uh, thank you for sparing your time and attending this webinar hope you uh, got some uh, good insights here and uh, you can view it uh, on our youtube channel thanks have a good night